Hey guys, uh, today I would like to present my first video on the HO scale US model railroad project Great Northern. Uh, it took a while, but uh, better late uh, than never. For the modules, I used modules from the Auhagen company as a basis. They are already assembled uh, and you can simply put them together with dolls and screws. I didn't feel like having plywood sawn to size and then fiddling around with it. Uh, it is a bit more expensive, but they are in superb quality. The track material I bought from Echo, a replica of the North American tracks is good and they made the best visual impression for me. 9.5 degree turnout and flexible track form the basis. Uh, I cut 4mm uh, cork to replicate the track bed and put them uh, to the module plate with good glue. For curves and turnouts, it is advisable to cut them in half and glue them along the previously transferred track center line. To fix the tracks of the cork bed, I decided to use Patex Power Adhesive. Remains flexible and holds firmly uh, because nails or screws don't make any sense for me. Uh, to lay the flex track straight, I bought a U profile in the dimensions for HO scale uh, from the Home Depot so you can align the track perfectly. Now we come to the actual topic of the color treatment of the rails. I looked at several reference pictures on the internet or wooden sleepers in real life and realized that uh, there are so many different shades and variations. Uh, brown, gray, beige, you name it. Uh, it's up to you. Um, so use whatever color you like. Everything is possible. As the plastic uh, from Pico still seems to have residues of the release agent from the injection molds on the plastic parts, I first cleaned all parts thoroughly with isopropanol. Um, then I primed the track with surface primer from Maleo. After drying overnight, I applied the first coat of paint with diluted acrylic paint wood base from AK. The paint was applied in several thin layers whereby the paint can remain wet. This creates a nice first texture of drying. After Everything is thoroughly dry. I recommend waiting at least 24 hours. Uh, after that we can start with a wood texture of the sleepers. Um, as I said, all shades brown or grey work here. Um, it is particularly important to always use the wet and wet technique. In other words, mix another color into the wet paint. Once everything has dried well, you have a great result and you can darken the sleepers uh, further in, if necessary by applying another coat of paint. But uh, be advised that it is important to let it dry thoroughly, otherwise you will bring the old paint back down with it. In order to age the track as well, I decided after much deliberation to do the whole thing without an airbrush. Um, as I see the danger uh, with the plastic pico uh, tracks that uh, despite cleaning and priming I could get the paint on the masking tape and then everything would be ruined. Uh, I used burnt amber from Vallejo as the rust color and uh, 
provided uh, diluted in several passes with brush. From my point of view, it's a good result, and uh, there's no need to use an airbrush. To give the track more depth, uh, I applied a dark wash and used it to emphasize places such as the sleeveless holders and uh, bolts, but be aware, just let it dry properly at least 24 hours, as I mentioned before, uh, just to make sure that the color is, is uh, hard enough uh, not to peel off again. After everything had uh, dried well, uh, I then applied a layer of matte clear varnish to seal everything and take away the slightly glossy appearance. Um, I decided to use natural gravel uh, from Kömo. Um, it is a natural stone and looks really realistic. Um, in my opinion, it's one of the best uh, stuff for ballasting. To avoid uh, covering everything with ballast scrubs, I took a small plastic container of coffee cream and ballasted the track piece by piece. The excess stones are then spread with a soft brush and removed before fixing with uh, ballast adhesive. It's quite important just to make sure that there are no stones on the track or maybe on the You can either buy the ballast adhesive ready made or mix it yourself. Put glue water or a little washing up liquid to relax the water. Um, it's quite easy, um, yeah, but you can also buy it. It's not that expensive from my point of view, so uh, it's easier to have it ready, ready made, uh, but it's up to you. Then use a pipette to coat the ballast from below. If you simply let it run over the apartment from above, the ballast may run. Um, I recommend always wetting it from below. Um, drying times approximately. And yes, you can ask yourself whether all this is really necessary, but I am a rivet counter and it has to look neat. Um, you can see uh, the result here. Uh, I think it was worth it. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time and I would be delighted uh, to receive a subscription. Goodbye.